The first thing Mohammed said to me when I went to meet him and I'd been vetted by his various people, he said, you know they were killed. It was murder. Uh, and I said, no. Uh, why, you know, why do you say that? He said, when you've been to the University of Al Fayed, as he amusingly called it, when you've done the course, you will understand why I feel the way I do. On a compris qu'il cherchait pratiquement faire ce que j'appellerais une contre-enquête. Voyez, ça veut dire qu'on n'a pas confiance dans la police française. Comble de, 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 de l'histoire, c'est que dans les enquêteurs, il y avait des anciens de la brigade criminelle. Extraordinaire. Je ne suis pas complotiste. Je ne travaillais pas contre. Je travaillais pour la vérité. Un jour, j'ai eu une information qui m'a dit, est-ce que tu sais qu'un paparazzi qui avait opéré, qui avait fait le siège les jours précédents de la salle trompée, a une voiture qui pourrait correspondre. Ça, c'est la voiture d'Andanson. On peut voir nettement que la voiture comporte des traces de rouille sur l'ensemble de la carrosserie, à l'exception de l'aile arrière gauche. C'est-à-dire que cette aile a été remplacée ou repeinte. Un paparazzi avec une fiat Uno blanche, forcément qu'on ne peut pas laisser passer. Je me rends en province, je retrouve son véhicule dans un garage. Le véhicule n'était plus du tout en état de, de rouler. Il était destiné à la destruction. Pas de traces d'enfoncement de carrosserie qui puisse correspondre au choc dans le tunnel. Trace de peinture noire de la Mercedes. Car une chose est sûre, ce véhicule n'est pas le véhicule qui a touché la Mercedes. La rouille va jusqu'à l'aile et s'arrête là. Tout indique que c'était cette voiture. Less than an hour ago, an ITV documentary highlighted what it saw as serious flaws in the assumption that it was simply a horrendous accident. Secrets behind the crash opened the eyes of a lot of people. There were so many good questions and they were so very well posed. Uh, what, what, we needed answers and why, why weren't we getting them? On the more general charge that this was uh, a propaganda mouthpiece for Mohammed Al Fayed, how do you plead? Absolutely not guilty. It's a ridiculous charge. What if, if this was the case? It means that you can't say anything other than this was a simple a simple accident. Otherwise, you're immediately accused of being a propagandist for Mohammed Al Fayed. The investigation by the French judicial system has taken two years. Yet the findings do not appear to have changed from what emerged in the first two weeks. Now it's official, printed on plain white paper, a drunken driver. J'ai lu le rapport qui a été publié. C'est une foutaise. Je crois que dans cette affaire, il y a eu un déni de justice de la part des autorités françaises. I mean, Mohammed's conviction is that there was a conspiracy. I mean, he has a, a whole history of, um, you know, knowing Diana and her family. Uh, Diana had confided in him that, uh, you know, she feared for her life and this sort of thing. Um, I mean, he believes firmly still that there was a conspiracy. He wanted as many investigations as he could get because he, did, he wanted the answers and he wanted as many different people to be asking the questions as possible uh, because that is the way you get to the truth.
Dodi and Diana being murdered, definitely. Who would want them dead? And why would anyone want to kill them, Dodi and Diana? Because they still don't accept that Dodi, my son, an Egyptian, a Muslim, can be the stepfather of the future king. Are you sure it's not just your grief? It's not? No. It's real because I'm the father. It's my son. And I know what happened to him, and I know who have done it. I just remember everybody saying to me, he's named Philip. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I just thought, oh my God, you know. I, I just said to him, you are dealing with the very heart of the establishment. You know, you're taking on monarchy. You know, you cannot say this kind of thing unless you can prove it. Sadly for him, he cannot prove it. All I would say is that as time goes by, the mountain of circumstantial evidence gets bigger, not smaller. Je reviens à M. Andanson, le propriétaire de la Fiat que j'ai retrouvé parce qu'il y a une suite dans l'affaire. Thèse du suicide ou du meurtre, James Andanson, âgé de 52 ans, photographe des stars, notamment de Lady Di. On avait retrouvé son corps au mois de mai de l'année 2000, carbonisé dans sa voiture à 200 km de chez lui, près d'un terrain militaire. On avait dit qu'il s'était suicidé. Alors le corps était complètement détruit et rien ne pouvait permettre de dire qu'il s'était suicidé. Il n'a laissé aucune lettre d'adieu ni dans laquelle il aurait parlé de son suicide. Voilà encore une des choses suspectes. The death of Anderson really is one of the big, big unanswered questions. I mean, here's a man found in a, locked into a burnt out car in the middle of nowhere in France with a huge hole in his head, which you know, one witness said looked like a professional sort of hit job. And the whole thing burnt to a crisp. Why? Why would this happen, you know? I mean, it was just bizarre. Today's revelations may not add to the evidence, but certainly add to the intrigue. Her chilling prediction reads, this particular phase in my life is the most dangerous. Someone, the name blacked out, is planning an accident in my car, brake failure and serious head injuries. This is from Diana, in her own words, 10 months before she died. Elle dit pas, j'ai rêvé. Elle dit pas, je pense. Elle dit, on m'a prévenu. On veut me faire assassiner dans un accident de voiture. Ce qui est arrivé. Ou alors, elle avait des dons de divination extraordinaires. It was a complete game changer. Another missing piece of the jigsaw, you know, Diana's fears that she'd be murdered. That fits in with what Al Fayed said. It also fits in with the large flash. That would explain that there was a, and then suddenly you're joining the dots. The problem that the establishment will have with today's story is that they have not allowed a public inquiry into what happened to Diana in this country. And that has fueled already conspiracy theories for the last six years. And what today's letter will do is simply give credence to the view that there was more to it than meets the eye, and we should have some form of formal investigation. 85% of the ordinary people of this country believe Diana was murdered with my son. It's not only me. And nobody yeah, moving for six years, no one is moving. You think that's fair? Discovery.